all right guys so i stumbled across this video of probably one of the most annoying types of people in the world right and what i'm talking about is the ultra woke super guilty white liberal right who uh takes out this guilt on other uh white people who are not as radicalized and extreme as them so i want you guys to check out this video of one of these people right uh harassing her her neighbors because uh they don't agree with black lives matter take a look this lady told me to told me to leave because she thinks it's okay to be racist she says it's america and it's okay to be racist all right sorry 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 you're right on the sidewalk Oh, okay. Good to know. All my neighbors are racist. This is what I think of you. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. Black lives. Oh, really? Really? You think you think black lives only matter to black people? This is the problem with America. This is the problem. This white Karen. Because you you're, think, you're you, think you think, you think, okay. you think that people are literally, you're it's trying to get the cops to call it's your it's phone. It's like it's that's, it's that, that's the situation that you think is going on right now. It's I'm not right. on their lawn. I'm not I on their lawn. I know that, okay. Uh -huh. But I have to notify you officially that you are trespassed from that property. So if you step foot on there again, you're going to be charged with trust, criminal trespass. You know? Oh, okay. This is just like a warning. Gotcha. <laughs> right. So cool. with criminal trespass, you have to be told prior to. Oh, Does that okay. Make sense? Yes. So yes. You so again, you're telling me not to step foot on their lawn. Correct. Okay. Cool. Got it. Fair. Okay. Fair. Thank you. Roger that. So we're good. For now, man. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm embarrassed. I am embarrassed, right? But um, I I really don't know exactly when this video was recorded. Was it recorded this year? Last year? I just saw it on Libs of TikTok, which is a great uh Twitter account that you guys should follow uh, if you haven't already. But I want to react to it because there's a couple points I want to make here. They say that, you know, people like this aren't extremists. Or put it this way, I, they haven't been classified as extremists, right? When you think about the so-called uh, right-wing extremists, right? The, the leftist media wants you to think that, you know, it's the evil white um, Trump supporter in a uh, Klansman hat, right? That's what they want you to think, okay? They want you to think that these people are terrorizing neighborhoods in America, Okay, that's that's what they want you to think. But I have never seen a video like that come from somebody that has conservative views in which they're in people's neighborhoods harassing them over politics, right? A political ideology. Now, there are public demonstrations, okay, where they do it in a public space, but I have not seen anybody like that going through and disturbing people's neighborhoods, right? Now, I've seen a ton of leftists that have been in people's neighborhoods and uh, causing commotion and doing all this stuff, showing at people's houses. I've seen a ton of that, right? That are actually causing disturbances in the neighborhoods of this country. I mean, this woke lunatic is literally trying to dox her neighbors. Right? The parts I bleeped out in the video are her literally uh, trying to tell the world her neighbor's address. She's trying to dox her neighbors because she thinks they're racist, Okay. And in my opinion, just my opinion here, this is what happens when you radicalize people in victimhood, white savior, far left ideology. That's what happens, right? This person seems to be radicalized, in my opinion, okay? It, it would take a radical to go out there and to do something like that, right? To try to dox your neighbors, okay? But the left, according to the left-wing media, these are not the domestic terrorists that you need to worry about, right? Like, these aren't domestic terrorists. These are just angry, upset neighbors. Again, it, it kind of blows my mind how this works, right? 
Because this person right here is obviously disturbing their neighbors. They're a nuisance in the neighborhood. Somebody called the police on her, right? Now, the police can't really do anything because I think she's on, I guess, public property or whatever, right? Like, she's, you know, on the sidewalk or whatever. But it's obvious that her political extremism has driven her to go out in the street and harass her neighbors. But again, these people are never classified as extremists. When you see this stuff all the time. Second of all, um, I don't know what makes people like this, you know, people that happen to be white, that are liberal, that are obsessed with this stuff. I don't know why they think they're doing black people a favor, right? Like, you're not doing us a favor. You're not protesting on my behalf, okay? Like, that's that's not what's happening here, right? You're protesting for yourself. You're protesting because you have some guilt or you feel the need to... Um, Act like you care about black people so much. So you're doing it for yourself. You're not doing it for me. Because I'm embarrassed. Right? I'm embarrassed by those actions. Because I don't want people to think that. <laughs> you know, like black people. Are sending these people into the neighborhoods. Or that this is what we want. Now I can't speak for every black person. I only can speak for myself. This is not what I want. Right? And this is what causes division in this country. Right? You, you, you're shouting black lives matter. At your neighbors. Like, they have to get up in the morning and think about Black Lives Matter and, you know, what you want them to think about, right? They're just living their lives, doing their thing. They're not worried about that stuff. And see, that's the problem. That's why liberals are so miserable. Because they wake up every single day thinking about the next social justice issue or next uh, thing they can feel victimized about, right? That's this person's problem, in my opinion. She is... Uh, essentially thinking about how uh, victimized she is or a certain group of people are. She probably thinks about this on a daily basis, which is what will cause her to go out here and to disturb her neighborhood in the name of Black Lives Matter. She's a social justice missionary, okay? Spreading the gospel of BLM, right? And woke white saviorism. And remember, if you don't agree with her, if you think all lives matter, then you're a racist. If you think that white people are not superior to black people and that everybody's equal that black folks don't need saving from white people then you're racist right you are racist for believing such things according to her but this stuff right here man you know it, it, these are some of the most annoying people in the world and <laughs> i just don't want people to think that they're working on behalf of black people because they're not right they're working on behalf of themselves so let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.